Uh, after five years of uh, your uh, party in at the end of affairs, your party promised change in 2000 before 2015 election. Are you happy with the situation of things now? No, I can't say I'm happy truly, uh, Shehu. We have done our best, but that is not enough. But the most frustrating aspect of it is that there are some gaps there that were not necessarily, you know. Uh, here we are with the president that we have tried three times to, uh, to get him elected. Uh, it, it didn't, we, we, we didn't succeed. We tried the fourth time and we succeeded. And I know and I believe that uh, truly the president, President Muhammad Buhari, is a genuine person that has the interests of a common man at heart. He has the integrity uh, you know, and the competence. But unfortunately, when the government uh, has, I've said it several times, they, even in, some people come out in the government to insult me, they truly, the kleptocrats in the government are now forming the majority of our form, the majority, and therefore betraying the laudable uh, projects or uh, you know, policies that the president wants uh, to implement. I can tell you that uh, from the beginning, we came in with three main uh, agenda. One is to secure the country, that is in security. Two is to fight corruption. And three is to provide infrastructure. You cannot say that the president has not performed in these three areas. But the impact uh, and then the implementation is the problem. And you, in, under normal circumstances, you don't expect the president to do that personally himself. He is supposed to get the able hands. And um, he, 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 that is where the problem started. That is the, the where, where we have the problem. I'll give you an example in the youths, a case of the youths. When we're campaigning, because we see this, you know, uh, a number of youths, massive number of youths, and the president would always ask, uh, what are we going to do with this? That was when the idea of end power came on board. And from the first year, he approved 500 billion. And the monies were released for graduates to be employed, especially in teaching and other areas and all that. But if you hear the number, and the impact, they are just not, it doesn't add up. You, you hardly see it on ground, and that's the, where the problem is. For the past five years, the president has been supporting, and then we, he came up with trader money, he came up with the uh, Amcom borrowers project, he came up recently with the youth investment program of 75 billion, and then another additional you know, 25 billion was was set aside for, to, to pay attention to the youth requirement that would enable them to take off. But those that are charged with the responsibility of implementing this laudable project, you know, approved by president, uh, are not doing their job. Uh, you could see even during the COVID-19 pandemic, when there was lockdown, the president and the, the, the business community and the non-governmental agencies came in and then gave the support. But what happened? They went up and locked these, these things in, in, in warehouse, in where, various warehouses. And uh, the people, you know, went to ransack that place. All these things would have been avoided. All right. And, Senator. Uh, I can Senator. say that yeah. the president...